Good afternoon everyone. It's time to talk about what remote learning is going to look like this time. So we've learned a lot from what we did in term two and we've adapted things a little and that's based on the feedback that we've got from you, the parents, the students, as well as the teachers. So like I said, it will look a little bit different this time and everything's going to be delivered to families online. People don't have to complete tasks online. That's just how we, we will get the work home. So families will receive a learning grid via Zuno or Facebook or uh, Google Classroom. The learning grid will look like this. And students will be required to choose one of the activities from the grid each day. There will be a reading, a writing, and a maths grid as well as a specialist grid and they just choose one of those activities so that's four activities a day and there is room to do more than that but uh, children don't have to if they don't uh, get to that stage something important is that children working from home can choose any activity from the grid but if there are children who are coming to school for on-site supervision on some days or all of the days it's important that those students just do the ones that are nominated in each one. So if it's a Monday activity, it's done on a Monday. Leave the other activities for when they are at school. Work can be submitted, uh, but it doesn't have to be. So you can submit work by taking a photo and uploading it to Zuno or to Facebook or on Google Classroom. Um, but teachers will be trying to check in with students using WebEx as well and that's where the discussions will happen around the work that the children have been doing and the teachers can also provide some instruction during those meetings. So we hope this provides a better balance. Um, we hope it's a better balance for teachers, for students and particularly for parents. Um, there's no need to be dropping off and picking up packs and, and putting all those that work together in different piles and things. It's just the learning grids. Um, we will still be required to mark the role. So please be ready to check in each day when your teacher touches base. Um, and remember, just do the best you can. We know it can be difficult and we know it can feel like there's a lot of pressure. Just do the best that you can. And, and that's all we ask for. If you do have any questions, please feel, uh, feel free to reach out to your child's classroom teacher. And Look after yourself and please stay safe. Thank you.